When using Java or .NET to consume a ServiceNow.com web service, one important step that is often forgotten is setting the element default form system property to false. I'm going to show you how to do that. In your ServiceNow.com instance, type into the filter of the navigation pane web services. Under system properties, there'll be a web services page. Click on that page. Now you'll want to scroll down to the bottom where you come to this explanation of this property sets the element form default attribute. If you are using .NET, access to stub, web methods, etc., you're going to want to make sure that this is set to no or false. If you forget to uncheck this, you will get blank responses. Another uh, important step after you have unchecked this and hit save is that you will need to recompile your stubs against the WSDL once again. If you try to just set this to no and hit save and then run your code again, you'll still get the blank response. So it's very important to recompile uh, your web service consumer code after you've done this.